There is nothing new about shopping for art. People who can afford it have been doing so for millennia. And the relationship between art and money is almost as old as money itself. King Tutankhamun was a keen collector of ceramics. The Greeks and the Romans paid fortunes to adorn their homes and temples with the finest artworks of the day. And then there was the grand patronage of the popes and princes of the Italian Renaissance, like the Medici, who were well aware that some strategic art acquisition can do wonders for your status. But it is always best not to overdo it. King Charles I was a rather over-avid art shopper, bulk-buying thousands of works by some of the greatest names in art history. Leonardo da Vinci, Titian, Raphael, Rembrandt and Rubens. All this extravagance, however, rather got on the nerves of Oliver Cromwell. And the king soon lost his head and all his collection went under the hammer at the now legendary sale of the king's goods in 1649. So there's a long history of bulk buying and speculating on art. But while the art market is not a recent phenomenon, its scale and global reach certainly is. Never mind the wobbles in the world economy, the art market just grows and grows. There are now more than 200 art fairs worldwide, and new galleries proliferate across the globe with attendance figures for all art events on the up and up. Last year, more than 60,000 people visited Freeze in just four days. The best way to interact with the good, the bad, and the frankly ugly sides of the art market is to come here to an art fair. Now, these used to be small, industry-only events, but uh, they've evolved completely into these huge, great, big, super glamorous art happenings. Art Basel, Art Dubai, Art Basel Miami Beach, The Armoury Show, Istanbul Contemporary and Freeze, all these fairs have special VIP openings, talks programmes, commissioned artist projects and, naturally, wraparound parties. But amidst all this razzmatazz, it is still the art that counts. At Freeze and all the leading fairs, not only do the galleries have to pay top dollar for their booths, but there is a strict selection policy to ensure that only those showing the highest quality pieces are allowed to take part. Sometimes the pieces on show can be a little bit surprising. No, no, that's not art. That's a light covered in chicken wire with some dead wasps. But it's a good point, because now that anything can be art, anything can be bought and sold as art as well. Attracting a great deal of attention at the prestigious Art Basel Contemporary Art Fair a few years ago was a piece by hot Austrian artist Hans Schabus entitled De Letze Dreck, The Last Dirt. This heap of rubbish was described as a memorial to the concept of the traditional artist studio and was on sale for 17,000 euros. Then, at one freeze, a mysterious queue kept forming. People kept on joining the line, even though they had no idea what they were queuing for. But the event was the piece itself a performance work by Roman Ondak, inspired by the artist's memories of long lines for food in his native Slovakia, and it was also for sale. The buyer this time was the Tate, who now owns the right to enact the piece. In today's fast-moving global art market, it can be a challenge for public museums to buy the latest contemporary art for their collections. For institutions, collection building tends to be a protracted process involving lengthy discussions between curators and acquisition committees and not really compatible with the art of the deal. But Tate was able to buy Ondak's piece from Freeze with the help of the Outset Contemporary Art Fund. Every year, this fund enables Tate to acquire important works by artists from across the world, works which then belong in a nationally owned collection for all to see. The bonus of today's rapidly expanding market for art is the extraordinary range and diversity of events that the art market generates. And the works of art that it brings into existence mean that whether we are art buyers or quite simply art lovers, there is so much more of all of it for all of us to experience and to enjoy.
Thank you.